How's it going guys? Me Davey here for uh, another shave and today thanks to my buddy Eric Burros which is also known as Uncle W here on YouTube Shaving with Uncle W if you want to search him up or he usually comments down below uh, when I mention him in a video so just check him out love his videos well this dude has some of the I don't know if the are rare but he has some of the, one of the best collections of high-end brushes and razors that I have seen from any of the YouTube guys, you know, of course, you guys, got, you got guys like Magnus Gabrielson that has some crazy high-end, amazing stuff. Well, this guy has it too. He doesn't uh, straight razor shave though. He's more strictly a DE shaver. So something that he actually let me borrow is this beauty right here. I know, really hard to say what's special about a razor just by looking at it on the camera, but this one right here is one of the very elusive. Pretty long waiting list from what I hear. And pretty damn expensive Wolfman razors. I believe they're made in Canada. I probably should research this stuff, but I don't. I know I didn't have the money anytime soon to get on the list for this, so I just. I'm waiting on it before that. But this is known to be one of the best double edged razors on the market. In fact, previously, his favorite razor used to be. And above the tie razor, I believe the above the tie S2 was his favorite. I could be wrong, but it was one of the ATT razors. I just can't remember what plate. The Wolfman razor, not this particular model, I don't believe, but one of the models that he, because he has actually a few of them. That's kind of what he does. He gets to see all these crazy stuff. Um, but has actually surpassed the above the tie razors and become his, his now his favorite brand. So, really looking forward to test this out. Again, just like I did with each ATT head. I'm probably going to test this out for about a week before I send it back to him. And beautiful craftsmanship. The handle, for me, is not the best looking handle, but tons of grip. So in terms of actual practical use, absolutely beautiful. I love heavy handles, and this is heavy, so that's nice as well. Um, just in general, the design isn't that good looking, attractive to me. But of course, that's a matter of preference, but very, very practical and real good use. And shit, probably the best grip I've ever had on a handle. Really, really nice. So this head, if you guys can see the head, I don't know how good it is because, again, I'm just using my camera phone. Uh, very low profile head. Probably much lower than the above the tie razor. Also something that I want to actually bring up. Um, I already have a blade loaded in here, but there's something I wanted to show you guys. Again, you guys probably can't even see it. But one of the complaints that I have with the above the tie razors is you have the long the, the long post in the middle here which is standard all DEs are gonna have that but then on the above the tie razors you have two little small like pegs they're real small little dots that are supposed to catch the base plate and line up and hold the blade correctly this one this one actually has notches again I apologize I'll probably try maybe to take pictures of that so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about but I actually have longer notches that fill up more of the, the the middle of the blade so I feel that's probably gonna hold it a bit more secure the craftsmanship is fantastic uh, the finish everything all the all the the edges are real clean and crisp so that's the again not to say that this is gonna shave 30 times better than a cheap marker but something you do expect with these high-end, excuse me, stainless steel ones are just an absolute beautiful finish. And this one does offer that. So today, I'm going to go ahead and use Shaver Heaven sandalwood. And for some odd reason, I actually don't have just a plain sandalwood aftershave splash anymore. Or ever, actually, I don't think. So today, I'm actually going to pair it with Sangre de Drago. My favorite stuff. My favorite aftershave right there. Got a nice healthy load. So for those of you guys that are straight razor enthusiasts that watch my videos, please excuse me for this week. Again, I'll probably release about three videos using this. I'll use it daily for the next uh, five to seven days. And I will probably give, again, today I'm doing the video for my first use. Probably somewhere in the middle, my third or fourth use. And for probably like the seventh use. Um... Or the whatever I consider my last use of the razor, uh, I'll post a video on that. Kind of give my final thoughts and rundown of it. Okay. Got plenty loaded up here. Going with the face a little bit. 
I just dropped a crap load of water on the floor. That's fantastic. Oh man, look at all that. There you go. And this is like moments now. I think we're about a half hour away from the wet shavers round table. So I probably won't post this until after the round table, which is perfectly fine. And for those of you guys that are sandalwood fans and are wondering about the Shaver Heaven Sandalwood, again, the performance, fantastic, one of the best. In terms of the scent though, it's a very clean, smooth, light, more natural sandalwood. So really, really pleasant. Again, everybody says that lavender is calming for me. A nice, smooth sandalwood like this is calming for me. So... And for the very first time, I'm actually using a new blade for me. Uh, just like I did, played around with things a little bit with the above the tie razors. This one, I'm going to go for my very first time. The Pulse Silver Super Iridiums. So, try that out. Let's go. Very nice. So, very first initial impressions. Very easy to, to find the cutting angle. I don't feel a lot of blade chatter, so I am pretty confident that the blade is not flexing much and is very, very secure. So much so that you've seen I didn't stop talking while I was shaving my neck. So, you know, I'm pretty confident that I know what's going on with this blade, which is nice. That's really nice. This one's definitely not as mild as like the S2 was from above the tie, but not as aggressive. As that R1 plate I had. Which again, I wouldn't even consider the R1 plate very aggressive, but I think I feel a little bit more blade exposure or maybe even the blade gap on the R2. Really nice. And again, I felt like that R1 was a real appropriate one, a real appropriate head for a daily driver. This one, I think, may be a touch milder. Now, when I mean a touch, it's really, really just a touch. Like just a real slight difference. That pull silver was pretty nice. Go against the green. Very nice. I really like the head design. Real, real low pro profile head. Again, and probably everybody's going to compare this to the above the tie because they're, I guess, similar price points. The general feel in the hand for me, honestly, I don't think they feel anything alike. The way this one cutting feels way different than the above the tie. So there's definitely going to be people that are going to have a, a real preference for one or the other. I haven't developed my preference yet, obviously, since it's my first time. But this is a real nice shape. already like on my last uh, pass here. Flew through this. There we 
go. Be the quickest video in history. No, I'm exaggerating, but I'm already only 11 minutes in, so. Because the blade is so secure, it actually feels on this particular pass right here where I do the across the grain. It actually feels very similar in the way that I feel it's cutting to a mongoose. The mongoose I feel has a very secure and comfortable blade. And I think because this seems to be so rock solidly stuck in there with the longer pegs through the middle. I get a similar feel. And I know there's a lot of new single edge razors coming out, but I'm in general, I'm a huge fan of the Mongoose. Oh, all done. Hell of a shave, man. That was one hell of a shave. Of course, I will know a little bit more hour or so after my shave. See if everything is real comfortable, no irritation. Seems good right now. That pulse on the bed was nice. I'm gonna make sure to get my, uh, the two of the blades that I usually prefer, which are uh, the Persona Reds and the Persona Blues. Those are probably my two favorite blades right now. Um, so I'm definitely going to make sure that those blades get into this razor uh, while I have it. Jeez, the water, it's hot as hell outside today. So um, that water is really, really hot. Man. A nice witch hazel and not something you guys really need to see but of course I'm gonna pair it with this my favorite aftershave hey guys don't forget uh, wet shavers roundtable every week 4 p.m. every Saturday 4 p.m. Pacific 7 p.m. Eastern um, this week we are having Peter Tricali so by the time you guys see this it probably would already air if you didn't watch it live you can still catch it on the wet shavers roundtable YouTube channel and just kind of revisit any of the any of the guests that we've had. And, well, yeah. So, thank you guys for joining me. Catch you guys next time.